What's up you guys, it's 2Bricks here and I have another Let's Build video to share with you guys today. And I, I had a bunch of requests for this back when I released my full Boba Fett's Palace uh, kind of set modification, set improvement, expansion kind of a thing. Uh, make sure you check out the video for that if you have not already. It's a banger and uh, <laughs> people seem to like it. So um, yeah, but I had enough requests from that to basically uh, share with everybody how to build the uh, the back to tank specifically that Boba Fett takes his little sleepy time naps in and has his uh, flashbacks, uh, you know, uh, the vehicle that allows us to see Boba Fett's backstory. So uh, I decided that I would go ahead and break that out and make it into its own kind of micro diorama and share with you guys today how to build that. So um, the pieces or the, the parts list that you will need uh, is all down in the description and just follow this uh, you know video tutorial right here to see how to build the back to tank so um, I think that I definitely you know got a, a decent amount of detail in here for the scale that it is and um, I really tried to make sure that it had all the functionality that you saw in the show with the uh, the door opening the way that it's supposed to obviously boba can fit in there that's kind of a given you know uh, you need to have that and um, just kind of a nice mainly studless look all the way around uh, and then it just sits atop this little base here which you know you can just place into your diorama uh, however you want to so um, yeah I think this one turned out pretty good and I'm excited to share with you guys how to build it so let's get in and see the tutorial all right guys and since this is a slightly larger build than my usual let's builds that I, I try to keep fairly uh, you know concise I'm just gonna go ahead and do it in stages so this is the base right here obviously uh, the parts for Boba himself are not included in the parts list, so let's uh, go ahead and assemble this base. So we're going to take our uh, two by four um, tan tile here, and we're going to place it on the edge like this. And then next to that, we're going to place our two by two, and another two by four, and then that gives us a little lip under here, with, uh, which we're going to fill in with a one by ten regular tan plate like so. Then we're going to fill in the edges here with these two by four plates to kind of create a flat platform that goes around the edge of the back to tank and then in the back here we're going to place our uh, remaining tiles the 1x8 and the 1x2 just to finish off that outside circle and then into the middle here we're going to place this dark tan 4x6 plate that is going to be the main kind of clutch point for the actual back to tank itself so there is the base and onto that base we're going to add our uh, 1x2 brackets here the uh, the upturned kind here in the light bluish gray add four of those around the edges then into the middle we're going to uh, use these modified uh, interesting kind of thick plates here with the studs on the side and use four of those in the middle here these are going to give us all of the nice studs we need around the edge to hold all the different sub uh, assemblies of the build then we have a two by four white tile here that goes in the middle it's the nice kind of sleeping surface for boba and we have two one by one plates which go on either side here like so and then the little uh, kind of sleepy cushion here for Boba's head which is just a one by two dark bluish gray slope and that will complete this section of the build and then next up we're going to build up the kind of sides around the edges of the tank here so we're going to take our uh, one by four plate here in the white I'm going to place it down there in the back here we're going to place a one by six tile in white it's going to line the back wall there uh, along the front we're going to do a one by six plate and then uh, in the middle of that, we're going to place our 1x4 plate. And around the edges are two 1x1 one one white cheese wedge pieces, like so. And then our two flat silver colored grill tiles. And those are going to make that kind of nice vent looking detail up at the front. So then along the side here, we're going to place a 1x2 tan uh, plate, a 1x2 white plate, two of these nice uh, sloped pieces with the cut in sections on them. It's going to go around sides of what we just placed there and then a regular white grill tile to finish off that side like so and onto the other side again a one by two dark tan plate a uh, one by four bracket so uh, I have the ones with the flat or uh, 90 degree cut corners there um, but any type of uh, one of these molds will do uh, as long as it's in white and then we have the two again the cut slopes just like on the other side that go in and fill in the detail the kind of the form of the roundness on that side like so so there you go and then we're going to continue filling out the uh, kind of building up the side walls here so we have a one by four modified brick with studs on one side 
that's going to go in there like so. And we have a one by one headlight brick in white here. That's going to go right next to that brick that we just placed. And we're going to take a one by four panel piece here. I'm going to put that on the side. Panel pieces, of course, allow for room for Boba Fett to uh, lie in there and have his arms to the side. So we're going to place another one of those panels on the other side like that. And then we're just going to fill in the rest of this little area here with a one by one panel piece with the panel on both sides like so. And in the front here, uh, into this headlight brick, we place one of these relatively new, the, um, the kind of bar minifig stand pieces in uh, gray, or in light bluish gray, like so. And that's just gonna be the kind of um, control console panel holder right there. And onto that we place uh, what is, I think, supposed to be a calculator, <laughs> but uh, I'm using it for just a display pad for this uh, back to tank. And building up the back headrest support here, we're going to place a one by two panel piece on the back here. That's to give room for the uh, the top of Boba's head. And then two regular one by one bricks go next to that on either side. And then across the top, we place a one by four uh, regular plate and then two regular 45 degree slopes on either side to finish off the shape of that right there. And that's the back headrest section. Next up, we have the uh, element that is kind of the hinging door that uh, allows for the kind of blue tank portion to open. So we take one of our hinged plates here with the, uh, the white color and we place a one by four uh, tile over the top and then a one by two plate on the back of that to finish out that shape. Then we take one of our 45 degree cut um, white plates here and we place that on the top or tiles, I guess. And then we take a, a regular one by two tile and place it like so and we have one and two one by two plates those just filling in the shape right here and then finally the uh, other 45 degree cut plate right there or cut tile to finish out that shape like so and then onto the back of this we can place our uh, large semi-cylindrical um, you know trans blue colored piece which is going to give us the tank the main kind of uh, part that you can see into so then we just place the four studs here onto the four studs from this modified brick and then that is our closing shape like so and you can close that up and then we just have to finish out the last details all right so we just have this little kind of pipe detail that we have to build up on this side so we take one of these modified plates with the technic hole uh, in the top of it like so and we place it in the side there and then you take a technic half pin here with the stud uh, now this can be any uh, color of these that you wish uh, the blue is really common now they're becoming available in white so uh, this is all covered up so it doesn't really matter uh, and then we take a round flat silver uh, one by one plate there and we'll place that on top and we take a regular white uh, one by one cone and then finally one of these uh, inkwell uh, modified tile bar pieces in white and we'll place that on the very top and that just finishes out the look of that little kind of i'm not sure what it's supposed to be you know some kind of little um extra bit of equipment for the the back to tank there maybe it's like the uh you, you know plug the hose in and you pump the back to in through this or something who knows it's all star wars it's all made up uh but there you go that is the completed tank right there and i think it looks mighty fine and uh yeah if you just want to place boba in there you just take off his helmet place it off to the side here or you know wherever you choose and then you can just pop them in the tank really easy like so close it on up and let the flashbacks begin so there you go there is your boba fett's back to tank although it isn't strictly boba fett's a lot of people are uh, making use of it it seems and um and there it is uh, i think it looks really nice for the scale and uh hopefully you guys get a kick out of it Alrighty, guys so there is your book of boba fett back to bubble bath hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying the uh, the let's build series that now that it has been kind of resurrected and uh, I hope to bring you guys a lot more models in the future because I have so many little creations that I love to share with you guys and um, yeah hopefully I'll have another one for you very soon so do let me know down in the comments if you do build this if you enjoyed the build if uh, if you think that I uh, you know missed the mark or if I, you think I absolutely nailed it uh, this was a really fun one because it's such an iconic thing from a, a relatively new show um, and you know it's nice to bring some some love to the book of Boba Fett since a lot of people uh, were not super happy with that show <laughs> and uh, I think you know the the props department as always on Star Wars absolutely killing it and uh, they nailed it with this uh, this cool looking tank here so uh, yeah that's going to be it for today guys thanks so much for watching uh, I'll see you on the next video and may the force be with you